Yeah. Let's get moving! Oh no! Yune, what is it? What's happening? This isn't good. These soldiers! We've killed them already! They've been reborn in the flesh, but not spirit! Uh oh. Brought back from the dead! They're the Borg! Oh no! A miracle of the goddess. A blasphemy, you mean? How could the goddess of water violate the most fundamental natural law? I guess Canis. No, staff? <laughs> I guess Canis doesn't believe in the Dragon Balls. Philosophy later, everyone. They're about to attack. Oh man. Oh man, this is getting epic. Had it been as much of a go to experience out the door. The rebite trick only worked once. Astro's apparently hacked, so. You were right. Those dead soldiers really got you, didn't they? We can't win! All we do is kill the flesh, but she brings the flesh back! We need more time! No, there is no more time! Everyone else will be turned to stone! And I will be lonely forever! There's nothing wrong that I can do! I failed! I failed! Yune, get a hold of yourself! Ouch! My ears! Ow, oh, my freaking ears! What was that? You big bully! Who do you think I am? Yune, the goddess of chaos. The warm-hearted being whose courage and love gives us the will to go on. Like, thank you. As things stand, we can't bring everyone to the tower. We'll need a support here to hold this position. But at the very least, how many are we going to need inside? They'll have much stronger forces inside the tower. Not to mention Asher herself. We'll send in our best eleven. More like ten. Oh, and we'll the two dragons. And one from the Heron tribe. And, uh, the Empress. Plus, it wouldn't hurt to have Soth. Understood. That's everyone. I'll gather them together. And once we get inside, you can leave most of the fighting to Micaiah. And you know what comes next? This. This. We waited all fucking game for this. This is the final chapter, and now... Now you give her the third tier promotion? Jesus Christ, they could have done it at the end of part three. What is she, Roy? <laughs> it, oh well. It, 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 uh, oh. Light Priestess, you know the bonus is right now. Except that she gets plus five in strength and defense as opposed to four. Plus five and she has, great, a, she's gonna be and she has a pretty cool outfit, except it doesn't fit Makai at all. Something like this should work. We're ready. Okay, now is your last chance to prep everyone you need to uh, go over to the final chapter. Mickey is a light priestess. It's basically the good points of both the Saint class and the Arc Sage class rolled together. Except that she has Corona for some reason as opposed to Flair. I don't know why. I guess she's more of a bishop than she is a sage. Ah. Kind of kills the point of her last class being a light sage. Now does it? Being like a saint, she's able to use both light magic and stave as a double S if she gets that far. Now, and seriously, her caps are probably one of the best magic caps in the entire game, which is kind of weird. And again, I say that her... What do you expect? <laughs> yeah. And again, I say that her outfit does not... is pretty cool, but it doesn't fit her at the slightest. Okay, off, off. Oh, I think I'll bring you along. I need you, Nolan, later. Off. Uh, Lil can... You can... Uh, uh, uh. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. Brings to flaw because he's manly. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Yes! Mm -hmm. Thank you. I need yes, yes, yes. Like 70 plus characters at this point. Yes. And you know you can pick one of the three herons, because they're gonna ask you to pick one of the three herons right at the start. Okay. Okay, of the people I've picked. Okay, is this the biggest ever army in a Fire Emblem game, or has it been bigger? I think I think it might have been bigger in Heroes of Light and Shadow. Correct me if I'm wrong, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, one of them needs to need a Worm Slayer. 
Obviously not counting my unit for that. Yeah. Uh, where is Valencia? She's gonna need one too. Mm. I'm gonna need Nolan. I'm gonna need Nolan for the Irvin later. For a special, for a special uh, plot point that's going to be uh, relevant in come third map, I guess, because because the final chapter is five maps long, so just like throw that out there. Warm slave for you. If the whole rebirth in parentheses five didn't give it away on the title screen a while back. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I forgot. I need to bring Mist along too. Not you, Oliver. You can you can sit this one out. <laughs> I need a thunder tongue for that later on. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay, gonna save again. Gonna end Palma real quick, and we're back. Right, so right, let's, go. let's do this, Raymond. So, so wait a minute. <laughs> They're still talking. <laughs> All right, everyone's almost ready. Who would you like to bring from the Heron tribe? You're allowed to bring any one of the three herons you long. Do feel free whatever you want. Me? I'm going with Grayson. Grayson, will you join us? Gladly. I'll give you everything I've got. All right, Tower of Guidance, here we come. Spooky. It's so quiet. Is the goddess here? Uh huh. She's at the top. Be careful, everyone. This tower is Astra's home territory. She certain have her most powerful troops waiting for us up ahead. We must proceed with the utmost caution. Hmm? Flashback! So, you are comparing to the very first Empress Altina. I don't think this flashback happens if you're playing this for the first time. You would trust in the word of a stranger? Yes. I can see inside you. I know you cannot speak lies. Is it possible? Do you share some aspect of my power? I do, as did my mother. Generation after generation, each apostle has been blessed to hear the voice of the goddess. We know this by now. We know of impending disasters, how crops will fare. All revelations originally intended for you. So Begnion is, is, is Begnion theocracy the is full of, of Mary Sue's. That's not good. I had no idea. Please, look at this. That mark. Huh. All of the apostles have borne this brand. It is our greatest secret. The senators must never know. <laughs> because of this brand, I thought that I had been born of some great sin. It hey, wait, is that a moving place. picture? Yes. Guilt tore I couldn't tell for a second. As I hid my mark it's all wavy for some reason. Was it? I mean, I mean, it's a flashback, but... Nature. And look at me talking over the voice acting. How oh, rude. Child. How can I apologize to you? Does that be ten voice acting? And yet now that I've met should you, we care? I understand. You should be nice. There is no shame in my heritage. Unless it's the manly man narrator or she not. I will not live in hiding. I will reveal to the world that I am one of the branded. They must see there is no shame in who I am. No, you mustn't. You don't understand the danger you will be placing yourself in. Really? Oh, but I do. The senators will do their utmost to rally the people against me, as they did when I freed the lagoons from slavery. Because they're douchebags. But I will not be deterred. If I am to lead this nation, I cannot allow it to be corrupted by prejudice and hatred. I can put the life the goddess has given me 
to no greater good than this. Such determination. Your eyes, they very much resemble Altina's. I will stand before my people and proudly proclaim the truth. And then I will guide them to a just and honest future. This is my promise to you. Good, can we end this flashback now? Thank you. Your strength of will, the truth that guides your life. You have shown me the way back to myself. I shall return to Goldoa and tell my friends of you and your actions. Mystery man has friends. I will tell them that Laguz and Bjork may once again live together in peace. I will tell them that there is hope. Oh dear. Thank you, father of my mothers. I strive what? to be worthy of the gift of life you have granted me. Uh, okay. What was that? Someone's... Was it someone's memory? What is it? Sorry. Uh, oh, wait. Don't worry. It was nothing. Alright, then. Our path leads through that door there. Huh? Oh, no. Cock block! Well, well. Apostle Sonaki, what a surprise seeing you here. Frankly, I'm amazed that you, of all people, would dare set a foot inside the most holy tower of guidance. But Kane, we've been looking for you for a long time. You bound Dane to your awful pact, hounded noble to King Pelias, and stole countless lives in your appalling war. You are beyond redemption! Beyond redemption? My, that does sound dreadful. Whatever will you do with me? Oh, and let me remind you, the blood pack is still in effect. You would remember, remember that. I think you know what will happen to the people of Dane that you should dare oppose me. Enough! We can hear threats no longer. No more will we bow to your every win. Now that we've found you, you will exact justice upon you, then destroy the blood pack itself, ending its power over us. Alright. So, you figured it out, did you? <laughs> it matters nothing. It matters not. This changes nothing, you hear me? Here is a scroll for which you've been searching so diligently. Right here in my hands. <sighs> and yet, none of you will ever lay one grimy little finger upon it. I have been blessed by the goddess herself, where protection will not allow you to flee so you can approach me. The cane! Cease this travesty of virtue at once! What have we here? Oh yes, the apostle. Excuse me, child, but I believe you forgot you were here. Since you did gain your grace with your exalted presence, dear apostle, then we share a bedtime story with you. This only happens if you played the game on a second, on a second try, so this doesn't happen if you're first time playing. More backstory. The year was 640, Begnion era. The Empire had been without an apostle for 15 long years. The senators were being constantly harassed with complaints from the pipe from the people. There had been nothing like it in history. The voices calling for Yang Sana to be crowned grew louder every day. You had just turned five years old when the Senate welcomed you to the throne as the new, as the new apostle. Ah, oh, young Mr. Sonaki, what a difficult child you were. You threw tantrums, you screamed and cried constantly. Your conduct was hardly befitting the Emperor's, Emperor's of Begnion. Everyone was at a loss. You wouldn't, you wouldn't even stop yielding and crying during official proceedings. But then along came your youngest senator ever, Sephiroth, Duke of Persis. When he took you in his arms, you immediately stopped crying. You even smiled. You had to take advantage of this obvious miracle. In an unprecedented move by the senators, we elevated Sephiroth to Prime Minister, keeping him serving you as close to you as possible. This plan, radical as it was, proved far more effective than we dared dream. A young, handsome Prime Minister and an adorable mob of an apostle brought the people's support to incredible new heights. Apparently, the common scissoring is gullible enough to blindly follow any leader who is sufficiently attractive. Enamored as they were, no one ever seemed to care whether or not you could hear the voice of the goddess. With the new apostle and prime minister, the political landscape became unrecognizable. Even in the face of over overtly unreasonable legislation, the two of you would stand on the balcony. A smile and a wave later, the people would cheer and go on with their happy lives. <laughs> it was too good to be true, however. Both of you were meant to be puppets. Each of you interfere with our government more and more, imposing your soft-hearted ideals over our sovereign rights. Were such trivialities as goose slavery and the Dane occupation worth making issues of? The pair of you were becoming increasingly bodice and thorn in our side. And then this war is against the Laguz forces. You went so far as to expose our previous indiscretions and demand reparations for the supplements. This was unforgivable. Clearly, you both had to be removed. Sephir would falsely be falsely accused and jailed, necessitating his removal from office. The Apostle would suffer a sudden illness and be excused from official proceedings, or so we intended. And somehow, despite the extraordinary plans of great men, here you are, standing before my very eyes. If Sephir and I hadn't been freed, you were just waiting you for your chance to kill us, just as you killed my grandmother! Out of respect for the imminently, imminently deceased, I'll be completely honest. Yes, you assume correctly. Wow. 
your assassination and the plot for once again for the Cyrus Heron's fort was entirely my idea. Yes, I thought as much. Impressive, Sonicky. When you were first crowned, you would have cried your little eyes out. You've grown slightly. The Cain, Duke of Gatos, before the 37th Empress of Begnion, prepare to be judged! An amusing game, child, truly. But you must know that there's nothing you can do against me. I am the greatest servant to all knowing Almighty Ashra. I am her chosen champion. And you, Sonicky, are a pathetic wretch, mewling behind a pack of dead curs. Ashra's judgment is upon you! You will not live to be turned to stone. You will die here as flesh and blood. And finally, we get to start this damn map. Jesus. Kinda freaking late. Jesus, that took fucking forever. Okay, it's the la this is the last map route mission of the game. Finally, and it's hell, basically. There are like generals fucking everywhere. All of them with obscene stats. At least it's smaller. True. The map is the map, yeah, the map is pretty small. There are two long range uh, sages here. One the bolting spell and one with the blizzard spell. Thrawn. Oh, fast. Why are you drawing Panacea and get out of here? And there are reinforcements out the ass. There's a trust over here if you actually manage to get it. If you actually care about it. If you actually mean to care. And we have. Well, one major boss and one sort of boss. The cane? And Hetzel. Your primary target is, of course, the cane. He drops the Rex door if you actually did if you can actually give a damn about it. And he's going to be warping around all over the place if you actually manage to get close to him within uh, certain precautions or whatnot. So we get to kill him this chapter? Yes, we finally get to kill him. Yes! Hetzel's going to be playing like pretty much the yes man in this team. He won't fight you, but he will try to status you with sl and sleep stabs. Can't do anything else other than that. Oh, and he's not the only one that can silent uh, put you to sleep. This asshole will do it too if you want if you can get a chance up to. So uh after that. We will of course we win if we route the enemy, we lose if either Ike dies or Mickey dies. Fun fact. Well, it's 10:10 10 now. We've got 50 minutes. Let's see if we can do it in 50 minutes. Now, that is the fan. That is the kick ass fan. Sorry. Sorry. Go ahead. No, I'll wait for Ike to attack. Actually. So yeah, the fan that I just played. That is probably one of the, one of the better fanfares in the game for the Apostles Army. Or not Apostles Army. Uh, Yune's chosen. There we go. I'm going to equip the Irvin and use pure water. Marsh is going to put slash attack and converse with Ike. You know, Ike, I need to see you get done in. Don't worry, I've got your back. I won't die here, and I always keep my promises. Awesome. The enemy fanfare is pretty badass too. For the um What's it? The enemy uh, sorry theme, pretty badass. It really, sh it really signifies the whole. Oh shit! This is the f these the enemies gonna kick our ass. If we're not careful. Unfortunately, the enemy is still the battle theme for the enemies is still embodiment of change. I hate it. Ow! This might end badly. Minutes into the actual map. Oh, jeez, another one. Oof. These dodging skills don't totally suck. Nope. At least he's good for something. All right, now let's do this, Ryan. So, so. <laughs> Marshall, you slash attack. Mm-hmm. Bonk. It's up to dead. 
Also, if you're noticing the darkened tiles along this map, take very good care that you do notice them. These are very special defensive tiles. The lighter ones are called cover tiles, and the darker ones are called ward wood tiles. They both ra they raise your defense and resistance by 10, respectively. Making them very, very, very goddamn effective. They are practically vital for surviving in the final map, final battles. That belly is starting to worry me now. Aether! With an axe. Boink! You don't mess with Ike and his level 20 ness. Technically speaking, level 60 ness. True facts. Adapt. Now, now I've read about a bunch of you wondering why are you giving your egg the Irvin? Doesn't he? Doesn't he? Shouldn't he be work? Shouldn't he be just using the Ragnall? Well, there are a couple of things that the Irvin has over the Ragnall. One, it's it's far more powerful, has four more points of might. Two, it's accurate as hell compared to the Ragnall. It has 30 more points of accuracy. Three, that grants a resistance bonus, which Ike oh so needs. So yeah, I could, there, there are times where the Ragnar will be more useful, and there are times where the Irvin will be more useful. It's funny, the Irvin has 30 more hit than the goddamn ultimate sword. Funny, that. It's funny, because axes are the whole... You're right, yeah, here we have the Irvin. Hmm. You'll have to say that again, Brandon, because that bit kind of got, kind of got cut out because Pamela had to start over. Oh yeah, it's kind of funny with the whole Irvin having 30 hit on the Ragnall since, you know, it's an axe. Yeah, that is funny when you think about it. Adept. <clears throat> Excuse me. And of course, the healing douches make their work their magic now, because they're healing douches. It's a douche blast. I hate you. Of course, more reinforcements. Why not? Because why not? I mean, we're probably gonna be sick of this already. Time to hear the ally battle theme. Finale and fear. It's a pretty good battle theme, especially for an endgame one. I mean, I didn't, I re I kind of didn't like that at first, but it's really grown on me. It's a pretty damn good battle theme. Magic! Huh? Converse. Marsha, as long as I'm here, I won't let you die. There's too much riding on your survival. Stay close. You know what? Together we're unstoppable. Nothing's gonna hold us back. Finally, the words have longed for them to say. We're unbeatable. Okay, ma. I mean, <gasps> this needs more martial rage. You do have something to heal Pelias with, right? Yeah. I'm not that. I'm not that. Oh, the enemy I'm not that phase. witted. Checking because I'm or I'm constantly nervous with that low HP. No, I'm not the one. You really have to brace them for a reason, right? That's true. Honorary. You die. Yep. Adapt. Marsh you slash tag. It's kinda of funny how much of an advantage you have because hard mode gets rid of the triangle. Yep. Imagine if we had. Imagine if we have a triangle. Oh 
Jeez. I asked what's the thought. Oh, let's make this harder by getting rid of the triangle so people can't take advantage of it. Wait a minute, why is I using axes against sword guys? Oh <laughs> shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Hindsight! Oh, this guy's a sunny thing, that. This guy's going to sting if he hits. Oh. Thank you! Boink! Boink! Thank you, Peleus, for activating Flare. You are my you are my lord and savior. 